Asia Society uh, first began to have this idea of having a bat exhibition because we realized that we have actual bats living in our center. As a motif in Chinese art, it's very popular at least since the late Ming Dynasty. And especially in the Qing Dynasty, we see them appearing very often on a range of materials and objects, including those produced in a court for the emperors, the imperial family, and also those for local uh, ordinary people. Bats, because of its similarity to the word for blessings in Chinese, in the Chinese language, it's a very, very common symbol. So about this exhibition, it's a um, I think it's more traditional art, so I have to set up a, a new style to, uh, to continue to uh, uh, make the, um, the bridge between contemporary art and the traditional art. I think in, in, the, in this exhibition only one artist still lives, it's me, so I stand on the bridge, so what I should do? So I think it's a, I uh, you know I learning a lot of uh, traditional art from uh, the uh, old China, also from Japan because the old the, the, the golden color is a Japanese style, it's not China traditional. And here I only have two uh, four days. In four days, well, I I just thinking what happened, yeah, and uh, connecting with a uh, bat, also the traditional art, and also contemporary art. So three, you know, three different things. Even, you know, even in, in such situation, even the bat is not bad for me. It's from my brain and uh, also the memory. But I think most important thing is I'm learning some uh, dragon style from uh, all the, the joy. So I put them together. I used the, the dragon uh, way to draw back. It's old, but the, the bat is new. <laughs>